We are getting a closer look at the price tag for Robert Mueller's investigation into Russian election meddling, and it's costing taxpayers $17 million so far, according to a new report from the Justice Department. President Trump continues to hammer the special counsel, tweeting this in the last hour. There was no collusion with Russia except by the Democrats. When will this very expensive witch hunt hoax ever end? So bad for our country. Is the special counsel Justice Department leaking my lawyer's letters to the fake news media? Should be looking at Dems corruption instead. Mueller's office saying the spending is within the approved budget, but as we enter the second year of the probe, the bills are starting to add up. Here's Arizona Congressman Andy Biggs. Don't forget the indirect costs of everything that the president and his, his staff is having to redirect resources of the federal government to try to respond to this, and, not, and, and then in different individuals. So this is a very expensive investigation. Harry Littman is a former United States attorney and deputy assistant attorney general. Harry, good to see you. The Thanks Justice for having me, Mike. Thank you. The Justice Department has spent more than $17 million on the Mueller investigation, according to that report out this week. Is that reasonable for this kind of probe at this stage? Yeah, I think it's more than reasonable. I mean, the most sensible way to think about it is compared to other comparable probes. So on the one hand, it's much cheaper. Water, uh, excuse me, white water was over $100 million, much, much longer. And the results here have been strong. That's point one. But point two is, look, it's a really important thing for this country to get to the bottom of whether there was meddling by Russians in the election, whether there were any crimes committed by associates of the of the president we would spend that uh, money in any event but what we've spent is a lot less than incomparable probes to date how much pressure does spending millions of taxpayer dollars put on the Mueller team to find something you know I don't think oh oh I see no I don't think any the Mueller team there's no reason at all to think that 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 the that the so-called price tag will will give them a feeling they've got to come up with something. Plenty of independent counsels have finished their probes saying nothing has happened here. And for them, they're just doing their day-to-day -day, uh, work. I don't, I don't think they'll feel pressure. And if they do, the price tag would be the least of it. This is fairly standard stuff within a DOJ budget. The president, in his tweet, made reference to a letter that the New York Times and Fox News have obtained, which is from the president's lawyers to Robert Mueller, essentially making the case against sitting down with Robert Mueller or trying to narrow the scope of things. Any surprise in that? I'm not surprised. I mean, I've been saying for months that I, you know, I thought it was unlikely he would really want to sit down. But even if he does, it, it makes a lot of sense that he'll try to narrow the scope try to have it be an interview, not under oath, try to have it be the least um, possible. Now, when push comes to shove and he's really looking at a court battle, one that could extend things past the midterms, mm -hmm. will, he, will he take the same stance? I don't know. But the, but the idea that he would try to negotiate a sweeter arrangement, I think, should not surprise anyone. Does the approaching 2018 election, now about five months away, put pressure on Mueller and his team to wrap things up? So this is one point I really wanted to make because uh, Trump has, and his team say certain things. And one of the things they've said lately is that, the, that Mueller and his team are going to meddle, actually uh, do po you know, political partisan influence on the 2018 midterms. Not a scintilla of evidence about that, completely wrong-headed and, and problematic because it gives people less confidence not only in Mueller but in our elections. And here I just wanted to say, Mike, you know, Fox News is perfectly positioned to really debunk this claim. I'm, I'm sometimes on CNN or MSNBC, but the people who are really receptive to it watch you, watch you all the time. It's a wrong-headed claim that I think can be easily debunked, and you guys are perfectly positioned to do it. I'm sure you can feel the anxiety of Republican candidates, though, up this year yeah. with this, this probe still underway, right? Yes, I think so. And not just the pro, but everything that it augurs. I mean, if I'm a Republican candidate, I'm not sure I want things out quickly because that's going to be a pretty hard hitting uh, report. But as long as it's hovering, it, it, you're right that it, it exerts pressure. Yes, it's an anxious situation all around, but I think especially for Republican candidates. It's Mueller's job to try to you know, pr uh, investigate without fear or favor and not have that sway things. But sure, that's an understandable concern. Harry, finally, what about the DOJ Inspector General's report due out soon? How embarrassing might that be to folks at the Justice Department and some at the FBI? 
So, you know, I've, I've tried to say this before. Horowitz, I think, is a very straight shooter. He mm -hmm. had no trouble um, uh, really criticizing Annie McCabe. It's going to be like a 500-page report. Basically, there'll be enough hay to go around that I, I think there'll be embarrassment for uh, the current uh, DOJ, also embarrassment about how the Clinton probe was handled in the fall. There's going to be a lot there, I think, for everybody to, uh, to, to jump on. Harry Littman, great, grateful for your time and your expertise, Thank sir. Thank you. Have a great Thank day. Thank you, Mike.